The New Orleans Saints might go to the Super Bowl. Welcome back to Vikings Game Plan. Let's see what they look like on film with analyst Pete Bursich. The Minnesota Vikings get set to take on the New Orleans Saints, perhaps one of the division favorites to make it to the Super Bowl. A very, very good football team. A lot of us saw what happened against Kansas City and the Saints last week. We're going to take a deep dive into that game, look at what this New Orleans Saints defense does so well in coverage, and then take a look at Drew Brees. He started 0 for 5, first time it's ever happened in his career. He turned it around toward the end of that game, so let's take a look and see what they did well and what the Vikings can do to win this football game. The first thing that we're going to look at is this Saints defense, and they're very, very good against the pass, and one of the reasons why in this day and age is they can play two-man. This play is a perfect example of that. You take a look at the five underneath coverage guys, meaning the corner, the nickel, the other corner, and the two linebackers. They are covering an eligible receiver, and deep you have two safeties that are free. As you can see, the top field safety on that in route, he's coming in to cut that thing off. The nickel is playing outside shade, so they have that slot receiver kind of bracketed. Underneath, everybody else is man-to-man on the bottom of the field with the safety high over the top. This does not give Mahomes anywhere to go with the football. He has to lean back, throw it behind him to a receiver that probably wasn't expecting the football. It disrupted their timing early on in this game, and Mahomes did have some difficulties with it, although Kansas City was on the field for a vast majority of this first half. So you go to the second half. How do offenses make changes? What do you do to defeat two man? And you can see this perfectly with Kelsey at up on top. You'll see he reduces his split. He walks down so the two receivers are stacked. But what they're doing is they're letting that receiver on the line of scrimmage just run interference. So when he gets about five yards up, he's just running right into his DB, kind of picking that guy. And Kelsey, he's just reading the coverage. He's going to see, do I go out or do I go in? In this case, he's well underneath the safety. So this is a nice throw and catch, turn, get up field, get the first down. So those these are the subtle little adjustments that you can make when you see cover two, another great example, stacks, right? The receivers are stacked. They're closer together. So here you go. Crossing routes. You see the receiver on the bottom. He gets all the way across the field, gets away from his coverage, pick routes, right? So you have the pick routes, you have the high lows, those kinds of things. Those are the creative routes that you can run to try to slow down two man. All right. Defensively, Carl Granderson, who you may not have heard of, he had a couple sacks in this game. Another guy named Trey Hendrickson. In this case, you're going to see Granderson on the left side of this play. And this is what, again, the man-to-man coverage can do. It can make the quarterback really hold the play a little bit longer. And he's getting double teamed by the tight end and the tackle, and he still gets around. So he's given some speed on the outside. So not only do you have Cameron Jordan, but you also have to figure out where Carl Granderson is at all times. Now, in this case, you see Granderson on the right, Trey Hendrickson on the left. And the Saints, it looks like a blitz, but it really, it's a four-man rush. But Granderson is able to come underneath. He's over the top. DB loops underneath. The running back picks him up. Granderson beats him around one side. Hendrickson on the other side. Sack, force, fumble. This gets New Orleans back into this football game. So it's a huge sack deep in New Orleans territory. And it really got them an opportunity to get back into the game. The next three plays are a perfect example of what went wrong for the New Orleans Saints early on in this game. It's Drew Brees' first game back after the broken ribs and the punctured and collapsed lung and all those things. When Brees is at the top of his drop and he's looking, you're going to see tight coverage all underneath and then two safeties deep. Okay, so this is not two-man. This is more more of a, 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 more of a Tampa type two. But you're going to see these little timing routes, right? You get the, the slot receiver. He steps in, goes out, just off of his fingertips. So... Just that, just being out for as long as Breeze has that little bit of timing, uh, you know, doesn't do well. So this is the next play of the series. So that was first and ten. You have an incomplete pass. In this case, you want to look at Andrus Pete. He's the left guard, normally a great player, but in this case, lets the D lineman get back underneath him. Tackle on Latavius Murray. Not a bad job up front from Kansas City defending. So now you get him into third and seven, and third and seven. Kansas City got aggressive, and this is what I think the Vikings have to do. You got to get aggressive. You got to blitz. There really isn't anyone free anywhere on this field. Kansas City's sending more guys than New Orleans can actually block. They come down, bam, get the you know get the sack. So Kansas City was very very 
prudent with when they were going to blitz it in certain situations. So now we go later on in this game. Early on, Breeze, not great with the one-on-ones deep on the outside either. But in this case, quick snap, blitz late, gets behind the safety, throws a perfect throw down there. Saints get down to the three-yard line. So, you know, as the game went on, Breeze got more and more used to the pressure and then was able to defeat a lot of what uh, Kansas City was trying to do. On this next play, play action. I look back at my notes from the 2009 NFC Championship game. Whenever Drew Brees turns his back on a defense on a play fake, hold your breath because he's taking a shot down the field. If you make him check down, that's a win. But in this case, it's the play fake. Try to suck up the linebackers, hit the deep dig under the middle. Bam. Now this, you know, this offense is moving the football, right? That's that that's another big gain um, by this. Uh, New Orleans offense and then finally you get down they're in the red zone they need a touchdown here they're two scores down and you're just going to see a simple four vertical route Breeze is able to look off the safety kind of freeze everybody and what's going on and then go back and hit this tight end right when Breeze releases his football you're going to see tight coverage but he really throws this guy open back shoulder throw and touchdown so Breeze absolutely finished better than he started. It's going to be a challenge for the Vikings to continue to slow down Drew Brees. 